Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are going to be doing an oil painting. Now this is just a small simple project that I kind of did on a whim and I wanted to show it to you guys. Also I don't end up doing this a lot with oil paintings mainly because I make very large ones but I ended up finishing this painting in one day. Anyways, let's get started. Okay guys, so for today's oil painting, I'm doing things a little bit different. This is actually going to be a study. I really don't do studies very often, but I had this one photo and I really wanted to do it. Also, like I said, I did spend only one day working on this. I did take breaks in between, so it probably took me about four to five hours to paint this painting. Another thing that I tried differently with this painting was I tried using a more limited color palette. Usually with limited color palettes it's down to like three colors and maybe black and white, but I did have like one or two other colors that I did throw in there. So it wasn't super limited, but I did keep it very limited compared to normal. So instead of using brown paint, I ended up mixing my own brown so I could get a more natural color. Anyways, you guys are probably wondering why I'm doing a study of a baby bird. Well, the main reason is this is actually a baby bird that I recently rescued and released. Now before I go into detail on how I went about rescuing and releasing this bird, I do want to give a bit of a disclaimer. Baby birds are actually extremely hard to take care of, so if you do not know how to take care of a baby bird, you need to find a shelter or a rescue that will take that bird if you find one. The only reason that I took in this bird and I did not give it to a rescue is because this was around that time when everything kind of shut down, so there was no rescue to take it to. And I wasn't going to leave it outside because it was kind of during a day that we were having a lot of bad weather. So pretty much I didn't have a place to take it to and I didn't want to leave it alone. So I figured at worst case it had a warm place to survive until it passed away or if I did manage to get it to survive, I actually do have the knowledge of how to take care of baby birds. I don't believe I've gone into detail about this ever on my channel, but back when I was a teenager, I used to volunteer a lot at my local zoo. So I would work in the reptiles, the rainforests, the farm areas, I would work with the animals and I would volunteer and get basically educated more on how to take care of the animals. So again, I want to reiterate, this situation was a little bit different than normal. So normally I would have gone and found a place to take the bird. And like I said, baby birds are extremely hard to take care of. There's a lot of things that you are committed to do if you take on the responsibility of taking care of a baby bird, even if it's a pet baby bird that you're rearing. Uh, one thing that I had to do was I had to make sure that they were constantly warm and not too hot because they really can't self-regulate their body temperatures too well until they develop their feathers properly. So I constantly had to make sure that they were on a heating pad and I kept track of if they were warm or too cold and I would turn it on and off throughout the day. And what I would consider the toughest thing is the feeding because you need to make sure that you feed them every two to four hours and you need to know what species of bird you have so you feed them the proper diet. So the type of baby bird that I ended up finding was actually a dove. So this actually made it a lot easier because if this was a bird that required eating insects, it would have been a lot tougher and more expensive to feed. So this bird ended up getting transitioned to bird seed after it uh, got to a certain age. Anyways, you guys are probably curious on how I ended up finding this baby bird, which I ended up naming Nugget. I thought it was a cute name. So I ended up finding Nugget on a very kind of stormy, rainy day. It was very early, but there was a point in time where the rain had stopped and I needed to take Axel out to go potty and walk him a little bit. So I was out walking Axel, hoping that I wouldn't get poured on, and he ended up kind of getting really fixated on a bush, just kind of trying to crawl under it really slowly. So I ended up kind of telling him to sit so I could see what was under there, and I ducked under and I saw that there was actually a baby bird. This poor baby bird was shivering, it was cold, it was wet. Um, there was actually no trees around the area where I found it, so I figured something had actually carried it off and it somehow managed to get away from whatever carried it off. And the reason I thought this happened was one of the wings had a huge open wound on it. It wasn't like bleeding or anything, but it was a fresh wound on the top of the wing. 
Luckily, the wing was actually not broken, it just had a open sore on it. So I figured something had carried it off during the storm, and it got away, maybe something scared it or something, probably a cat. And it somehow managed to get under the bush and just kind of tuck itself away. So I looked around, there was no trees, like I said, and there was no other birds anywhere in sight because it was storming. So I quickly grabbed the baby bird and I stuck it in my hoodie pocket. I finished walking Axel and we went in and I got it on a heating pad. I dried it and I made sure to kind of wipe away that wound to make sure there was nothing in it so it would heal. And it actually healed quite well. Nothing happened, no infections or anything like that. So the first few hours I didn't do anything other than let it calm down in a nice warm, dark environment so that it wouldn't be freaked out because obviously it had gone through a lot. And luckily, I did find it because right after I'd gotten in, it started downpouring, like, so bad. It was so windy that that bird probably would have been, like, blown out from under that bush. So after I got Nugget inside and I got her nice and warm, she was safe and everything like that, nothing looked wrong with her. I made sure to wash my hands, leave her alone for a little bit, and then after a little bit I went in, I tried to feed her. Now feeding a baby bird that was as young as this one was, was very difficult and very messy. I think the first few weeks of trying to get her to eat, I had to give her like a little washcloth bath every time because it just would get everywhere. She could barely hold her head up, but she definitely was hungry. Now one thing that was kind of fun to try and do was actually teach the bird to fly and get used to being outside. So I would take Nugget outside once she had enough feathers to kind of flap around and I would teach her how to kind of peck for food in the dirt. I would make sure she was comfortable outside so she wouldn't get scared about being outside. And I also made sure to keep her away from dogs and other people to kind of isolate her because she is a prey animal and she needs to know to not be comfortable around certain things. So taking her in, feeding her, all of that, I had her for a few months. I would take her outside to teach her how to fly once she had enough feathers, um, hoping that other birds would find her, possibly her parents. That never really happened. She eventually got to the age where she started cooing and acting more adult. She had her complete adult feathers in and she just decided to one day fly off. Which it was actually really fun and cool to take her out flying because I would basically just walk her outside, she'd take off, and then she would just come back when she was done flying around. <laughs> so it was really kind of fun to actually take her out flying and walking and stuff like that. And then just one day she decided that she was ready to leave and she left. Which, after taking care of her so long, was extremely sad, but I know that... It needed to be done. She did not need to be inside in a cage around dogs. She needed to be outside where she could find herself a mate. So when she decided to leave was actually quite sad. I got very attached to my little nugget. So I decided to do this painting kind of as closure. This is her little baby photo. This is the first photo I've ever taken of her. Luckily, you can't see the little cut on her wing, so it does look just perfectly fine. It's on the other side of her, and it's just really cute, and I wanted to have something to remember her by. Okay guys, and that is my painting of Nugget and the story of how I raised and rescued her. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!